What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be very different. I've made a list of my five favorite TV shows on Netflix that I've watched this year in 2021. I usually make this kind of videos at Christmas and in summer so that you can make the most of your time and improve your listening skills, learn new vocabulary and enhance your pronunciation while having fun. Are you ready? If so, let's get going. And now let's get started with my personal ranking. Number five, Ginny and Georgia. So this TV show reminded me of another series that I enjoyed greatly, Gilmore Girls. It's also about a mother-daughter relationship and it tells a story of a young mother who moves to a small town with her two kids in search of a fresh start. I really liked the character of this young mother, Georgia, because she's very optimistic, strong, resourceful, energetic, driven and ambitious. It's a family-friendly series that is likely to appeal to teenagers and adults. For now, there is just one season available. This series reminded me of another TV show that I absolutely adore, This Is Us, as it also mixes the present and the past. This series tells a story of two female friends and their friendship over the course of three decades. They have been together through thick and thin. On a side note, here we've got a C2 idiom, through thick and thin, which means to support someone and stay with them in spite of problems and difficulties. So Firefly Lane is a different kind of series that focuses on an unconditional friendship that might not be so unconditional after all. I'm really looking forward to watching the second season because the first one ends on a cliffhanger. Okay, and now let's move on to the third position in the ranking, The One. It's a science fiction series that is about finding true love your soulmate, your other half, and ultimately the one. It's based on a book by John Mars and it plays with the idea of how in the future, thanks to a DNA test, people will be able to find their true love and their perfect partner. So it's kinda what Tinder may be like in the future. This TV show sheds light on positive aspects of this possibility, but also reflects on chaos that it could trigger. In my opinion, it's a very original, refreshing and thought-provoking series. To cut a long story short, if you like science fiction and interested in love and relationships, I'm sure that you have a good time watching it. Number two, we've got a French series, Lupa. It's set in Paris, and although it's filmed in French, it's dubbed, so you can watch it in English, and the quality is really good. So this TV show is about a professional thief called Asan, who is inspired by another fictional thief, Arsène Lupa. So Asan's father, was framed for a robbery that he has never committed, so Asan is going to seek justice and revenge. This series reminded me of the movie Catch Me If You Can, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. I think it's a very original, electric and exciting series, as the main character is always on the point of being caught and you're so intrigued to see what he's going to do in order to escape and get away with it. 
For now, there are two seasons and I'm really looking forward to watching the third one. Totally recommendable. And last but not least, the winner, my favorite series so far this year, is The Bow Type. People say that it's similar to Sex in New York. I don't know because I haven't seen this series. So this TV show is about three millennial female friends who are working for a women's magazine and it's set in New York. This series covers many different things such as friendship, of course, love, relationships, chasing your dreams, finding your purpose, about social media, health issues and of course fashion, you can see so many beautiful outfits. To me, this TV show is a reflection of our current society and it also contains a lot of touching and moving moments and some of them hit close to home for me. The idiom to hit close to home means to affect you deeply and emotionally because you can relate to it very closely. In a nutshell, I'm really looking forward to watching the fifth and the last season that I hope will be released very soon. And before we finish, my final recommendation is the series Modern Love, which is available on Amazon. And it's because uh, they're going to release the second season on the 13th of August. And this series is one of my favorites together with This Is Us. I saw the first season last summer. This series is inspired by the column in the New York Times of the same name. The first season contains eight episodes and each one is a separate love story inspired by real people and real stories. It's so beautiful, it's a must and you shouldn't miss it. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this different kind of lesson and I would be very interested to know if you have seen any of the series that I've mentioned in this video and also please let me know what other TV shows you're watching right now or you're planning on seeing in August. And guys, just to let you know that next week there won't be a video because in August I make a lesson every other week because of summer holidays. So have a great time, enjoy your summer holidays, recharge your batteries and see you on August 15th. Thank you for having watched this video. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. Thank you for everything and see you in two weeks. Ciao for now!